Hello everybody, and we're back with Pokemon Fire Red. So obviously last time uh, we finished off um, in the coin corner um, and uh, defeated the Team Rocket and uh, Fort Giovanni uh, to obtain the self scope. So obviously now um, we have to return um, to uh, Lavender Town. Um, and obviously in Lavender Town we get to fight, um, well, we get to climb the Pokemon Tower, so. But first of all, let's go down here. I just can't remember what's down there, so. Yeah, we're gonna make good use of that cut. Okay, so. What's going on? Ah. Yeah, we actually have a gym. It's full of women, apparently. So, yeah. This is um, the grass top gym. Only real ladies are allowed here. Okay. Don't know what that means. Yeah. So yeah. Um, obviously, yeah, it's just grass types. Um, and no, we're gonna do a wing attack. I think. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because obviously. Um, Flying types are good against uh, grass types, as well as fire as well, so those would be two of the best ones. Let's fast forward through this stuff. Okay, so obviously this is a good gym, so we can then um, help Pidgey cut them. Oh, so Friggin' hate poison. Yeah, and as always, they have like, like you know, one or two different Pokemon, you know. No originality here. Um, at the top as always. I just hope I have enough to last this uh, gym now. And yeah, the D-pad on this uh, 360 controller just sucks. Be careful. And obviously, uh, you actually need someone who can perform cut. To actually, like, you know, make progress in this gym. As you can see, she has a ton of trainers in this gym. Um, the gym leader. I mean, obviously it's a lady. Is um, yeah, they said it's full of ladies. So. Ah. Okay. So wing attack, I think maybe. Uh. Kidding me. I'm paralyzed. Don't know luck ever. Yep, right there. Tap right. tap. Now we'll take on this. Yep, that's lady too. Ah. Fast forward. Yeah, um, even though that's eggs, it's a grass type. I know it's weird. Um, yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Um, execute becomes. Um, is it eggs? Was it coconut? I can't remember. Um, but yeah, basically it becomes um, this one called executor. So we're kind of like demolishing this gym, isn't it? Take a fast forward for God's sake. Um, yeah, obviously, we'll uh, take on um, this lady here. Okay. Scout worker, I think she. <laughs> yeah, they think we're that creepy old dude staring at her. Again, another like strange thing for a kids' game. <laughs> but anyway, now let's take on the gym leader. It is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, this is Erica. Ah. 
rüber. Das liegt bei mir halt da so. Das ist der Heiler hoch sein. Ja, das ist One Banger Hail halt. Das ist das nicht. Ich glaube, die Stücke bei dir, ähm. I love using all these, um... Are you kidding me? Pidgey! Um... Please survive. That's great. Yeah, they're obsessed with all these bloody, uh, st status element things and stuff. It's very, very, very fun. So, 33. Kicking ass. I think that lets it heal each turn or something like that. Anyway, let's wing it down. I'm gonna wing it. Or paralyze. Yeah, I don't know. It is weird that you would send out the stronger one first, right? 29 and 24, or whatever. Right, right. Yeah, and obviously, uh, they like to use potions. Um, I think I may have mentioned this earlier, but I don't think they did that in the original. I have one to two different potions, maybe. Right. Now we should have one more. We got Vile Point. This is a cool Pokemon. It's um, the uh, fully evolved form of um, Oddish. Yeah, this is why it's good to have a very team as always, you know. You don't want to have just all of one type, as you can see, because, you know, then okay. um, then you obviously, the Pokemon is weak. Um, but obviously, you know, the gym leaders are just there to teach you the different weaknesses and everything like that, and it's just a bit of flavor, I guess. Ooh. Thanks. Yeah, as you can tell, she's very well spoken. Nice. Yeah, we can get our Pokemon at level 50. Ah, and now I can use strength. Awesome. Yeah. Obviously, uh, if you have um, a cross type, this is a good one to use. So, um, yeah, so yeah, a bit more dialogue there. But yeah, obviously, if you're interested, um, you can give that to one of Hey. Yeah, um, yeah, and that's the gym leader done. Yeah, it's kind of a... You can easily kind of forget that, you know. Um, obviously, if you come here, you can see there is a gym there. Yeah, that's what it was pays to um, explore, you know. Uh, anyway, let's heal up. Where is the thing? Pokemon Center there. We will heal up. Very nice. Obviously, now that we've done that, we can actually return to Lavender Town. Lavender Town. Okay, why am I struggling to say Lavender Town? Bloody hell. Um, yeah. What is this? We have to take this little tunnel underneath again. Hey, how you doing? Yes, I'm gonna say he's Al Bundy again. Uh, 
I don't know if I even explained who that was. Um, it, it was just a character from this TV show called Married with Children. It was um, a show I used to watch when I was a kid. Um, so, yeah, you had Al Bundy, and then I can't remember the name of the guy who played him. Uh, he was also in Wayne's World. He played like that weird um, guy who worked in the. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot to fight the old man. Um, he played the guy who worked at like the diner. He was very strange and told weird stories. Uh, and then the wife, Peggy, is um, the lady who voices um, Leela in Futurama. And then the daughter was the lady who was in um, the two Anchorman movies. He plays like his love interest. Um, yeah. And yeah, it was basically just about this like dysfunctional family. They have a son as well. And that they, um, you know, the dad's just a really kind of like, you know, slobby, kind of trashy guy or whatever. And um, yeah, there's just, they're meant to be kind of like, it's a sitcom, but then it's, you know, it's meant to be like the polar opposite um, of your standard one because they're like this really kind of, you know, the opposite of what you expect. They're not the suburban family you'd see in, you know, like the usual things or whatever. They're very much like a, I guess you'd say more of a working class top family or something. Um, obviously, that does bring up kind of questions of the uh, class and all that. Or the representation of it, I suppose. But uh, yeah, you know, it's still good fun. It's a funny show uh, for the time, anyway. Ah. Yeah, this is just a good little, um, you know, if you want to, um, you know, you decrease the attack of someone. So it's it's up to you. Um, I think I'm going to replace tackle with that personally. Yeah, tackle's not that great. Um, yeah, it's always good to have these sorts of moves. Yeah, they do come in handy. I mean, not that I've even thought far enough ahead about what moves I'm going to keep on anyway. You know, it takes like you know actual planning. I ain't got time for that. I'm just winging it, obviously. <laughs> um, yeah, and we are finally back in Lambda Town. And yeah, I'll just heal up again. May as well. <laughs> Obviously, there's really just one thing to do here, which is Pokemon Tower, so yeah, we'll just get on with that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That's my uh, Elvis impression. This is not good, I know. Yeah, it's obviously uh things we could do this before, but without the self scope. There's, we can't actually complete the thing, so it's basically pointless. <laughs> Hello. Uh, anyway, let's speak to these people. Okay. Anyway, um... Ooh. Hmm... Be good about yeah we'll, we'll put Pikachu up front. I don't even know if that's a good idea or not. Got someone there. Hello Yeah. So uh what is this now? The fifth fourth or fifth battle with Gary? I can't remember, I think it's the fourth. Maybe is it the original and the I think it's five. Yeah. Okay. Thunderbolt! I'm still annoyed we both have Pidgeotto. Oh, come on, dude. I'm sure I'll eventually... I'll have another flying top eventually. Um, we'll worry about that when we get to it, though. Um, and Mr. Garibaldi is up next. So we'll put him in. I actually have two of the same Pokemon. Similar before, but yeah, um, obviously, bite has a chance to cause flinch, which just basically means they like can't attack for a turn. 
uh, which is quite useful, obviously. Uh, are we going to be lucky enough to get another one? No. Dude, it didn't work first time. Yeah. Yeah. We managed to beat a Pokemon at a severely lower level than us. Hard to believe. Um, I just saw... Do I have anything really to deal with that? Yes, I do. Pidgeotto. Again. It's going to demolish the grass type. Yes. His Pokemon are freaking low level, aren't they? I mean, I suppose his are more like balanced level than mine or whatever. Um, yeah, we'll look at that as we Yeah, and obviously this is the, uh, this becomes the pseudo-legendary, um, Arcanine, I want to call it. I said that like a, yeah, it is actually Arcanine. I don't know why it sounded like that. Ooh. Oh, makes sense. Fire on a water type. Uh, we'll just tackle. There we go. A bit of that. Almost. Oh, I'll just keep you out, Gyarados. I don't know if it's the best for a uh, psychic type. Oh, that was good. I like that he's kind of building up to it. Awesome. And Gary, there's no more. Yep, yeah, so. That's a hint towards uh, what I was talking about. Certain Pokemon we're going to see. Um, yeah, I'm going to switch out Pidgey now. Yeah, we have some right now. Yep. Thankfully, I have it. God, get up there. Oh, I can't. I was hoping I was going to get my bike out. But yeah, now obviously, um, yeah, we can actually get to random encounters and stuff now. And yeah, we actually have to fight trainers and stuff. These Chandlers are actually trainers as well. Um, and as you can imagine, yes, they use ghost types. Um, I don't know if we... yeah. It's very weird because, like, ghost is a type, obviously. Um, but... Like, there's only three ghost types in this in the first game, so you just have one evolution line, so... Ghastly, Haunter, and Gengar, which is very strange. Um, yeah, obviously it was the first game, so can't expect too much, or too many of them in the first one, I suppose. Um, yeah, let's move on. But yeah, we can actually get to random encounters now, so... Yep. Yeah, you can actually catch yourself a ghost type if you want. Um, damage it too much. Oh, well, that's not going to work, is it? That was done. <laughs> He's going to kill it. Oh. Hey, how you doing? Yep, and again, just one freaking ghastly. Like, come on, guys. Oh my god, one ghastly. Too long for a bit of a surprise here. Um, I'll take this as well. Nice. And 
getting a, accumulating a decent amount of money as well, aren't we? Another great ball, which is awesome. Um, yeah, I'm hoping to actually want to get a ghastly stuff. Uh, ghost types are very um, useful against um, psychic types. So quite good for uh, something coming up. And obviously, as you can tell, they're um, immune to physical type attacks as well, which is really cool. Or, you know, an attack that would involve like you physically hitting it, if that makes sense. That's a bit of a strange concept, but. Like obviously there is no like actual physical type I suppose is there because it's not like that kind of an RPG is it where you have like magic and physical blah blah blah. But, yeah. Uh yeah. Turn around. What do you mean join ice? Are they ghosts or something? Yeah, so look at this. This is actually a rest spot, which is awesome. Yeah, it's very nice of the game to do that for you. Zombies! So zombies exist within the Pokemon world then, I guess. It's quite nice to know. Um, yeah, nuggets obviously, uh, you, know, you just sell them for money, so. Um, but I think, you probably know that already, right? I should have mentioned that already. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, and that was Haunter, which is the, like I said, the next evolution of uh, Ghastly. Big's gonna happen. Um, this is so cool because I remember my original playthrough of the first game. Um, this is like pretty much the exact place where my um, Pidgeotto evolved into his final stage, which is Pidgeot or Pidgeot. Sorry, nice, um, freaking badass. It's obviously, uh, you know. I've already explained, when they evolve, they get stat boosts as well, I mean, so they get more per level now. That's why it's always good just to level them up straight away. Um, unless you care to learn a certain move earlier, it's really up to you. That back spot looks funny though. In my opinion. Just kind of, I don't know, it looks like he's in pain or something to me. I keep saying he, but I think it might be a she. There we go. Um, I'm just gonna chuck some balls at it. I mean, it looks like it's used to balls to the face anyway, so... Uh, um, yeah, it's, it's the ghost from Ghostbusters. Second try, I wasn't expecting that. Awesome! Ah. What? Why Why does so many of these, well, two of these entries involve toppling an Indian elephant? Like, is that the barometer of strength in the Pokemon world? Right? Like, no one knows what the uh, Indian elephant is actually like the most powerful being on the planet, or right? not Mewtwo. Or Arceus, I guess. In the Pokemon world, anyway. Um, because I think which game is it? Um, Gen 4's Arceus, and I think that's technically a prequel, isn't it, to this or something? Because I think there is like an actual timeline with these Pokemon games. I'm probably wrong. Oh. Yeah, so look at this. So what is this? Yeah, so we can see Marowak. 
Thanks for the telescope. Um, gust. Yeah, so you couldn't see this before. Um, it would just be like something you could, you'd just have to run away from the battle. Yes. <laughs> I can't remember if I can catch this. Ah. Good to test it out, right? Yeah, you never know. Uh, wing attack, I think, maybe. And obviously, yeah. Uh, um, so you're basically, uh. Ah. You basically can proceed this part, or, um, you can proceed in this part. But yeah, here we go. Here's an actual, uh, cubo now, which is the, uh, pre evolved form. I've not. Don't kill it. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, uh, like it just. I think it's just born with that. The skull and the bone. Or something. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I think it'll say in the entry to catch it. And then it, when it grows, it, the thing fuses to its head or something. Which is quite a strange concept. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, that's it. Where's the skull of its dead mother on its head? Okay. Again, very uh, kid-friendly, isn't it? Um, yeah, obviously we've got to mess about with Team Rocket, because obviously they stole, stole the scope. So I think the whole point was to try to capture the Marowak or something. Um, or I think they were involved with the death of it or something. Um, what was I going to say? It'll come back to me. Yeah, uh, that was it. So, um, I remember this YouTuber, uh, Jay Witz, I think his name is. Um, I remember he used to do these great videos on like creepy Pokemon entries, or like creepy moments in Pokemon. I remember him talking about that one. That, I think that was in like the first episode or something. I haven't, um, I don't even know if that guy makes content anymore. He used to be awesome. He was, um, one of my favorite sort of Pokemon YouTuber kind of guys, whatever. Um, also remember, you have like the best Let's Play of uh, uh, what was it? Um, Sonic Generations. It was, just, it was like the funniest thing ever. Because uh, like any time any of the characters speak in that game, he's like, you, you can just hear him in pain. <laughs> like the cringe is killing him. <laughs> It's like the funniest thing ever. Um, okay, maybe I'm giving too many levels to thingy now. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll put we'll put Pikachu in there. But yeah, uh, cool dude though. He, um, he was also on the show as well. I can't remember what it was called. It was like some sort of like nerd show or something. It was like a reality TV show, and he was in this famous episode with this dude called like Luke or something. Um, it was like, like uh, this troublemaker guy, really funny. Um, I'm sure you guys can find the clips yourself. With, um, I mean, you know, the two or three people who might watch this video. <laughs> I'm not like have a big audience watching that. Ooh, Kowski. I think that's the first time we sent Jarvik. That's possible. Disagree with that, mate. How do you intend to make money off Pokemon? I don't understand it. What, are they selling them off or something? Or is this some kind of like... Black market Pokemon dealings or something? You know, like, uh... You know, for people who are incapable of actually catching Pokemon or something. Or people who just don't want to catch them. So they'll have, like, ones from Team Rocket or something? I don't know. Oh, it's you, Mr. Fuji. Yeah, I did save you. I did what I could. Nice. Ooh. Uh, also, I like to imagine that the music just goes on like indefinitely, and everyone can hear it in the town. 
That must drive them crazy. Yep. Oh. Yeah, I do love Pokemon. Awesome. Yep, the Poke Flute. Um, obviously, this is what we use to wake up Snorlax now. So, yeah. So uh, we could do that now, which is awesome. Oh, it's Pokemon Fire Magazine. Yeah, uh, someone already took the prize. Ah, need a Rhino. Yeah, so obviously, uh, we've complete Pokemon Town now, so uh, I think that, you know, we'll just heal up quickly, and um, yeah, that's a wrap for the episode now. Um, obviously, now that we've got the Poke Flute, um, obviously more of the map is now accessible to us. We can take on the uh, Snorlaxes. I think there's a couple in the map or something. Um, yeah, we'll just continue on from there. Um, but yeah, anyway, I um, hope you have a uh, great rest of your day, and uh, catch you in the next one. Have a great day.